My name is Nikki Marino and I am the owner of Vixen Pinup Photography. I am a pinup photographer and I work with clients to create special photos for themselves or for their fiancés, um, boyfriends, girlfriends, what have you in the pinup genre. We uh, do the full hair and makeup and we provide the wardrobe and all of the props and everything so we can make a lasting photo. I've had a few studios. This is the first one that I've actually owned. The uh, front of the studio is a pinup boutique and the back is the photo studio. My name is Candy, Candy Pants Cunningham, and I am the exclusive makeup artist of Vixen Pinup Photography. I've been working with Nikki for about two years, um, doing makeup with her for about one year. Actually when Nikki asked me to help her, just kind of taking a, a step behind her and kind of understudying her to do the pinup makeup. I would describe the pinup style to be cheesecake. That's what I prefer. The real classic kind of ham it up. You know, the real fun, you know, girls smiling, posing, you know, having a really good time and interacting with the camera. Lots of, uh, you know, petticoats and full dresses, lingerie, just really encompassing that, uh, that era, you know, the World War II. 1940s, 50s pinup is, is really what I strive to. I'm a bit of a purist when it comes to pinup. Got into makeup when I was a teenager, um, not specifically like glamour or beauty makeup. I was really into making masks and doing FX makeup. There's been kind of a, a boom lately in Kansas City with pinup and burlesque and it's really, this neo burlesque movement has just grown and Everywhere you look, there's some new girl creating a pinup fan page or a burlesque fan page because they've taken a class and decided they want to be a pinup girl or they want to be a burlesque performer. Uh, my name is Susanna Lee, also known as Lucky Deluxe. And I am a, a stand up comedian and a burlesque performer as well as a writer. I think that burlesque is a uh, wonderful and beautiful art form. I think that burlesque is inclusionary to many different walks of life as well as types of entertainment, uh, which is one of the things I enjoy about it. Not only does it feed my exhibitionist streak, my uh, stand-up works well with it and uh, I can dance as well. Completely self-taught with the hair and makeup and the photography. The internet has been my school and I I've been very fortunate to have some great photographers work with me and teach me uh, techniques with lighting and the use of my equipment. I just hope to learn more about my craft and to grow my business and reach as many clients as we possibly can and give as many women as possible the full pinup experience so they can feel good about themselves and, and really experience what it is to have something like this that it lasts forever. I hope that it's, it's around for a while because I think that yeah, the, you know burlesque is something that everyone can enjoy and um, I think that burlesque is something that makes people feel good and you can't have too much of that. You know burlesque is a it's a, it's a playground for adults. When women come in here for an appointment it's really a really amazing transition to see them come in and you know they're kind of shy and nervous and they don't know exactly what to do and what to expect from a session and Candy and I work with them to get comfortable and explain you know we've seen it all before don't don't stress we're gonna take care of you we get through the hair and makeup and and the second we spin them around and they see themselves for the first time in the mirror, it's always this, oh my gosh, it doesn't matter what size you are, you can be any size, any color, any age, you're gorgeous, and we want to reflect that back to them, and it's this beautiful experience of watching someone just blossom right in front of your eyes, and, and every time it, it just touches me, and we've been so fortunate to have really great clients and get good feedback. It, it makes me want to do this every day, work just a little bit harder. If things stay good and, and we move further on, I'd like to have a much larger studio and eventually produce a book. Everybody's talking about me, everybody's talking about me.